DSP tries it. Hello everyone, DSP here, and welcome to a new edition of DSP Tries It, where I'm going to be checking out an item, we do this from time to time, that the only reason I knew this item existed is because I actually got a mailing about it, and it's kind of funny because here's the picture, but unfortunately I, I cut out a coupon from the other side, so it kind of messed with the top of the picture, but this is the A1 Special Reserve Steak Sandwich, featuring Angus Sliced Steak uh, or beef or whatever you want to call it with some kind of melted cheese. I'm assuming it looks like melted cheddar uh, A1 steak sauce and an onion ring On a special bun not sure what kind of it's ciabatta or if it's brioche or whatever you can't really tell from the picture here um, So we got this in the mail. I said, you know what perfect for DSP tries it Let's swing by and see what's going on at RB. So we went by and here we are This is it. Let's see exactly what you get with this. So let's open it up First of all, I want to make this abundantly clear, this sandwich is expensive, alright? Just for the sandwich, it was like $5.50, for a combo, it's like eight fifty. So you're talking a pretty substantially expensive sandwich, considering you can get around a $5 giant burger anywhere else. So let's see, so it's some kind of a cross top, and it does look like it's kind of a brioche-style bun. Let's open it up. Oh, uh, you've got, <laughs> what the heck, a tiny little onion ring squished there and then on top of here melted onto the cheese is a larger onion ring. I can't even really move it because it's been lodged onto the melted cheese of the sandwich. Look, so I can't actually move it around to reposition it. I'm going to try to so I can get a better bite. And then you got a little bit, it doesn't even look like a lot, a tiny bit of A1 steak sauce under there. Look, not that much. And you've got melted cheese and supposedly Angus beef. Now, I don't know. I don't think there's anything underneath. I want to double check. Oh, there's more steak sauce on the underneath under the beef that you get on the sandwich. I'm going to be honest. Initial looks of this sandwich, not very good. It looks to me a mess. It looks like the meat is not even as much as what you would get in like a $5 burger elsewhere. The onion rings were just tossed on here willy-nilly, not even really placed properly. And it doesn't look like a lot of steak sauce. Now, I like A1 steak sauce. I've never had this special reserve sauce. I'm gonna taste it at first and see how it tastes compared to regular A1 steak sauce. Ooh, wow. Well, compared to A1 steak sauce, it's a little bit more tangy and it does have a little bit more of a kick to it, I would say. Um, it's not super spicy or whatever, but it has more of a tanginess to it than regular A1. So before I taste this, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna attempt to move the onion ring to dislodge it from the melted cheese here and see if I can get it in a better position on the sandwich. And what I'll do is I'll take the smaller onion ring and I'll try to put it in the middle of the big one. So now, just take a look at this and I just wanna ask you, if you're making this sandwich, you work at Arby's and you're making this sandwich, don't you think this makes a little bit more sense? So every bite, you're getting a bite of onion or onion ring in the in the bite of the sandwich and not to have them just tossed on there. I mean, three more seconds of effort and you've already drastically improved the presentation and probably the flavor of the sandwich. Then again, for what they pay them at fast food restaurants, I don't blame them for not going the extra mile, if you know what I mean. So let's go ahead. Let's close this up. Okay. And I'm going to take a bite. Lift her up. Oops. Lift her up. There we go. Pretty hefty, like I said. It, it's interesting. It's not super heavy. It does seem lighter than what you would expect for an over $5 sandwich, but hey, maybe the flavor is there, right? So let's give it a, a, an initial bite. Mmm. Well. The meat's pretty good. The meat is juicy. I thought I was expecting it to be drier. It's not. It's actually quite moist. Strong flavor of Angus beef. A little on the saltier side, but that's kind of what you would expect, let's face it, from fast food beef. How else are they going to season it? They probably just toss some salt on there. But I got no A1 sauce and I got no onion ring. So I'm going to take another bite, this time closer to the center, and see if I can get some. Mm. Well, much better overall. 
So now you got the salty Angus meat mixed in with a little bit of the tanginess of the A1 sauce. I don't taste any kind of, of like burniness at all to the sauce, but it is a tangy sauce mixed in with some of the breading and a little bit of onion flavor. It wasn't overwhelming. Then again, I only got a little bit of the edge of the onion there. Let me give it one or two more bites and I'll give you my verdict. Let's take a bite over here. Mmm. That was a good one, because I got a bite of both onion rings, as you can see. And a little bit of the tangier sauce in the middle there that was on that middle onion ring. All right, one more bite, and then I'll tell you what I think. Mmm. That was the best bite. I got the most sauce out of that one. Because there was sauce on the underneath that I got in that bite, and it was quite good. Okay, so... Four. A steak sandwich in general, it's just kind of okay. For a fast food steak sandwich, it's pretty good. There's been a lot of different places I've gone to get steak sandwich or roast beef sandwich. And it's kind of bland. Even Arby's themselves, their normal roast beef sandwich comes with like nothing, right? And we can get a beef and cheddar, and that one comes with a little bit of melted cheddar and some kind of a sauce. This one, at least you got some nice melted cheese. You've got this A1 sauce that's a very tangy sauce and it's quite delicious. The onion rings are the one thing in this that's kind of like, eh, because they don't really jump out. All you really taste is breading and a little bit of onion flavor. You don't taste like a full-fledged, wow, I'm eating onion rings. You know what I mean? It doesn't really, it doesn't have, it's not full of flavor like uh, if you got onion rings at, say, a restaurant, okay? It's more like real quick fast food, almost, you know, a little bit less devoid, devoid of flavor than getting just a side order of, say, onion rings at a better restaurant. And quite honestly, I've said this before, on DSP tries it, it seems to me that when they put onion rings on a sandwich, it's because they realize that the sandwich probably won't sell by itself. So they think that by adding onion rings, it somehow kicks the sandwich up a notch. In this case, for this sandwich to be $5.50, right? Could you buy, would you buy a steak sandwich that looked like this if it just had cheese and A1 sauce and that's it? Probably not. But now, oh, well, we've got onion rings. Oh, onion rings. And now they could try to sell it for a premium price. I think the onion rings are kind of a cop-out. The thing is, I actually like the flavor of the sandwich. Is it the best one ever? Absolutely not. I've had much better steak sandwiches at restaurants, but for fast food, the meat is good. It's juicy. The sandwich, you know, is, is pretty decent. At first, I was actually going to say it's not enough to warrant $5.50, but it does seem like it would be pretty filling because it's pretty big overall. But the thing I don't like is the onion ring. Like, this should not be a $5.50 sandwich. This should be a $4 sandwich, and don't put onion rings on it then it would be worth what it's worth. So the only real negative I have to say about it is that it's overpriced. I think it's far too overpriced. It's with, you know, almost $9 or with tax, it is $9 for a combo for this guy. Why? You know, Arby's has other comparable products that are actually cheaper just because it's Angus beef and because you put onion rings doesn't make it an insanely premium product, although they, they tend to think that way. So I'm going to give the Arby's a1 Special Reserve Steak Sandwich, a 4 out of 5, no, you know what, a 3.75 out of 5, I went back, right in the middle of when I was going to say 4, 3.75 out of 5, better than what I thought it was going to be, tasty, juicy, delicious, the only criticism is that the onion rings don't taste as good as I thought they would, and it's way too expensive, it should be $1.50 less, and just don't put the onion rings on the sandwich, but overall, a pretty decent, damn good steak sandwich, did it look like this? Of course not, but still pretty good for what it is. That is it for DSP Tries at this time, everyone. Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you next time.